Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times. This right here is one story we should all learn from. Not everything is meant for your hair. Read all instructions before you put anything on your hair, your face, or your body. Hey y'all, for those of y'all that know me know, my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No, it's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got the big glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got the big glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 times and it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair. So I'm gonna tell y'all like this if you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this unless you want your hair to be like that. For what? What? Look. Look, y'all. Look. Look, you wipe it off and nothing happens. Like, this is the life that I'm living at this point. Like. This is the life that I guess I'm going to have to live. <laughs> yeah. Look. 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 So the Gorilla Glue Company had to release a statement that it is not written on their product that this can be used on the hair or any part of the body. So she ended up in the hospital but whatever they tried couldn't reverse the effect. This is pretty much a close up of the ponytail. They got the ponytail holders in there, so I'm gonna wind up just having to cut it off a little bit at a time to try to get in here and let it breathe a little bit. After cutting off the ponytail and still the thing don't move. It don't move. So this is kinda what it looked like now. No, I was able to get the I was able to get the ponytail off, but it's still not opening it up. As y'all can see, it's still kind of holding, so it's really not letting no air in too much, but, I mean, just a little bit. Got a little opening right there. So, y'all, she might get a little bit of air out of that, but not much because it's still pretty hard. She finally underwent surgery, and she's free. Crazy, huh? <laughs> it's bad. I could. It looks great. No, yeah, I really didn't think it was gonna end up here like that. Now I wish I'd have waited for my sister to sort of cut my ponytail off. Right. You were paying though, you had to. Over. Over. When I first heard of it, initially I thought it was a joke. But my office said, hey, can you, can you remove uh, Gorilla Glue from somebody's cap? I said, of course. And I woke up, I thought it, I brushed it off. And the next thing you know, I looked up the compound. OK, 
Okay, the main active ingredient is Gorilla Glue, and we figure out the science, how to break it down. So I then decided, you know, I now we're going to reinvent the heat area of the wheel. What chemicals that has components to dissolve? It's a medical grade adhesive remover that we use in the operating room. Uh, the company was very generous to us. I had an MGD to it, okay, which is uh, aloe vera and olive oil mixture, a little acetone. Unfortunately, I don't know why Gorilla Glue doesn't have a solution to it. And actually, I did make a phone call to Gorilla Glue. So she's been through a lot, and I hope that you guys will learn from Tessica's injuries or Tessica's ordeal. Make sure that anytime that you guys grab something, make sure you read.